celebratory demonstration is to show in hardware the details of figure 3-1 in our text which is entitled wave analyzer setup to analyze the frequency components of a square wave signal essentially this is the test of Fourier series analysis using hardware in the figure shown in the book a waveform passes through a variable frequency bandpass filter a voltmeter at the output detects the signals that make it through the filter. What is special about the filter is one, it is very high Q, essentially allowing only a narrow band of frequencies to pass through. And secondly, it is tunable. This allows us to examine the frequency spectrum from zero hertz to megahertz. Uh, one frequency at a time. When we implement this design, we have to change things a little bit. The changes that don't matter are we will change a voltmeter to a scope, which allows us to get a picture. Uh, we will also add a frequency counter so we can read the frequency of the output signal, which we will see is a harmonic or an integer multiple of the fundamental signal. All right, we'll take a look at the hardware. All right, here is the basic hardware associated with the setup. On the left hand side, we see our R generator, which we are already used to using. In the middle is the wave analyzer. The wave analyzer has a tunable filter. It is also a voltmeter uh, this is the frequency control elements right here. And last is the count frequency counter which measures the frequency of the output signal. Over here we have an ancient scope which are we going to use for our display. In the classroom operation I will try and display this over an overhead projector. Okay, the input signal, as we see, is on top, and it is a square wave, and the output signal will be at the bottom. Let us retune the device. This is our starting point. An input square wave of 1 kilohertz, and an output wave, essentially, of zero. As I tune the waveform, the wave analyzer, I'm going to 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, all right, 800, 900, and as we get closer to a thousand hertz, we see that a little bit of the square wave is getting through the filter, right? That is also indicated on the screen the dial of the wave analyzer. As we tune off down to 900, we see no signal. We tune up to one kilohertz, we see maximum signal. So, what this tells us is that the one kilohertz square wave contains also the a one hertz, a one kilohertz sine wave. But there must be more in the square wave because they're, they are not the same wave. So what is left over? The way we find what's left over is to tune to new frequencies. 2,000 hertz. Well, we will skip right to the main point, And the main point is at the next main point is at 3 kilohertz. If we look at 3 kilohertz we see there is a signal passing through. It is the third harmonic three times the original fundamental frequency so 1 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz. 
that is a com frequency component or a harmonic component of the square wave so the square wave contains a little bit of one kilohertz signal a little bit of three kilohertz signal and if we continue on we will see it also contains a little bit of five kilohertz signal so here's the signal at five kilohertz a little less than the three kilohertz amount if we tune up to 700 ki seven kilohertz again we will see signal level again we can look on the frequency counter which shows the ratio of the output signal to the input signal as seven right and the input signal is one kilohertz so that is seven kilohertz the idea here is that the harmonic content or Fourier series content of a square wave is dependent on the the waveform input in this case a square wave we can continue to go up to many higher frequencies we'll just dial up to a larger value and see what we find a little bit of a signal there you can see the little little distorted not quite a sine wave but if we check over on the frequency unit we'll see that is actually the 11th harmonic the harmonics will continue by theory up to infinity but you'll notice that the harmonics are getting smaller and smaller and smaller so if we dial way up to a much higher frequency there's the harmonic inside much smaller we'll change the time base so we can see it a little better it's getting much smaller and this happened to be the 21st harmonic so the harmonics decrease uh, as the frequency goes higher and that is tr generally true for all harmonics uh, in the Fourier series and so eventually the value of the harmonic will be get small enough that we just consider it to be zero. So that is the laboratory or in-class demonstration we will do on Monday. And the, this will lead us into the actual calculations of the harmonic levels of different waveforms. If I change the waveform, by the way, here I'll change to a triangle wave. I will change the harmonic content the 21st harmonic on a uh, triangle wave is much smaller but a triangle wave also contains harmonics alright we'll uh, leave it at that and do the demonstration on Monday